NASA's Discovery Program is a series of lower cost as compared to New Frontiers or flagship programs, highly focused American scientific space missions that are exploring the solar system. It was founded in 1992 to implement then NASA Administrator Daniel S. Golden's vision of faster, better, cheaper planetary missions. Discovery missions differ from traditional NASA missions where targets and objectives are pre-specified. Instead, these cost-capped missions are proposed and led by a scientist called the Principal Investigator Proposing teams may include people from industry, small businesses, government laboratories, and universities. Proposals are selected through a competitive peer review process. All of the completed discovery missions are accomplishing groundbreaking science and adding significantly to the body of knowledge about the solar system. NASA also accepts proposals for competitively selected discovery program missions of opportunity. This provides opportunities to participate in non-NASA missions by providing funding for a science instrument or hardware components of a science instrument or to repurpose an existing NASA spacecraft. These opportunities are currently offered through NASA's Stand-Alone Mission of Opportunity Program. On January 4, 2017 NASA announced that the next Discovery mission selection included the double selection of Lucy, to visit several asteroids and Trojans, and Psyche, to visit the metal asteroid Psyche, as the 13th and 14th Discovery missions, respectively. History In 1989, the Solar System Exploration Division SSED at NASA headquarters initiated a series of workshops to define a new strategy for exploration through the year 2000. The panels included a small mission program group SMPG that was chartered to devise a rationale for missions that would be low cost and allow focused scientific questions to be addressed in a relatively short time. A fast-paced study for a potential mission was requested and funding arrangements were made in 1990. The new program was called Discovery and the panel assessed a number of concepts that could be implemented as low-cost programs, with Near-Earth Asteroid Rendezvous near as the first mission to be implemented. On February 17, 1996, Near became the first mission to launch in the Discovery program. The Mars Pathfinder launched on December 4, 1996, demonstrated a number of innovative, economical, and highly effective approaches to spacecraft and planetary mission design such as the inflated airbags that allowed the Sojourner rover to endure the landing. Note that the two Mars exploration rovers, Opportunity and Spirit, were not a part of the Discovery program, although they did reuse the overall landing system of Mars Pathfinder. Also, Phoenix and Maven were in the Mars Scout program and not the Discovery program. Topic: <laughs> Mission timeline. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Missions. Topic: <laughs> 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 Standalone missions. Topic: <laughs> 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 Missions of Opportunity. This provides opportunities to participate in non-NASA missions by providing funding for a science instrument or hardware components of a science instrument, or specific extended mission for spacecraft that may different from its original purpose. Some examples include, Aspera 3, M3, Epoxy, Next, and Strophio. Aspera 3, an instrument designed to study the interaction between the solar wind and the atmosphere of Mars, is flying on board the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter. Launched in June 2003, it has been orbiting Mars since December 2003. The principal investigator is David Winningham of Southwest Research Institute. Moon Mineralogy Mapper M3 is a NASA-designed instrument placed on board the ISROS Chandrayaan orbiter selected in February, 2005. Launched in 2008, it was designed to explore the Moon's mineral composition at high resolution. M3's detection of water on the Moon was announced in September 2009, one month after the mission ended. The principal investigator was Carl Peters of Brown University. Extrasolar Planet Observation and Deep Impact Extended Investigation was selected in July, 2007. It was a series of two new missions for the existing Deep Impact probe following its success at Temple 1. The Extrasolar Planet Observations and Characterization EPIC mission used the Deep Impact High Resolution Camera in 2008 to better characterize known giant extrasolar planets orbiting other stars and to search for additional planets in the same system. 
The principal investigator was L. Drake Deming of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The Deep Impact Extended Investigation of Comets Dixie mission used the Deep Impact Mission's spacecraft for a flyby mission to a second comet, Hartley 2. The goal was to take pictures of its nucleus to increase our understanding of the diversity of comets. The flyby of Hartley 2 was successful with closest approach occurring on November 4, 2010. Michael Ahern of the University of Maryland was the principal investigator. New exploration of Temple 1 next was selected in July, 2007 together with the epoxy extension. It was a new mission for the Stardust spacecraft to fly by Comet Temple 1 in 2011 and observe changes since the Deep Impact mission visited it in July 2005. Later in 2005, Temple 1 made its closest approach to the Sun, possibly changing the surface of the comet. The flyby was completed successfully on February 15, 2011. Joseph Viverka of Cornell University is the principal investigator. STROPHEO is a unique mass spectrometer that is part of the Serena instrument package that will fly on board the European Space Agency's BepiColombo, Mercury Planetary Orbiter spacecraft. STROPHEO will study the atoms and molecules that compose Mercury's atmosphere to reveal the composition of the planet's surface. Stefano Livi of Southwest Research Institute is the principal investigator. In addition, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has been managed under the Discovery Program since the Lunar Precursor Robotic Program was terminated. Topic. Proposals However often the funding comes in, there is a selection process with perhaps two dozen concepts. These sometimes get further matured and re-proposed in another selection or program. An example of this is Zeus Yuri mission, which was passed over in favor of the successful Stardust mission, but was eventually flown as Genesis, while a more extensive mission similar to Inside was flown as Juno in the New Frontiers program. Some of these concepts went on to become actual missions, or similar concepts were eventually realized in another mission class. This list is a mix of previous and current proposals. Additional examples of Discovery class mission proposals include Whipple, Space Observatory to detect Oort cloud by transit method I.O. Volcano Observer Comet Hopper Chopper. Titan Mare Explorer Time. Zeus Uri, similar to the later Genesis mission. Hermes, a Mercury orbiter. Compare to Messenger Mercury orbiter. Inside Jupiter, an orbiter that would map Jupiter's magnetic and gravity fields in an effort to study the giant planet's interior structure. The concept was further matured and implemented as Juno in the New Frontiers program. The Dust Telescope is a space observatory that would measure various properties of incoming cosmic dust. The Dust Telescope would combine a trajectory sensor and a mass spectrometer, to allow the elemental and even isotopic composition to be analyzed. OSIRIS Origins Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification and Security was an asteroid observation and sample return mission concept selected in 2006 for further concept studies. It was further matured and launched September 8, 2016 as OSIRIS-REx in the New Frontiers program. HERA is a mission concept for near-Earth asteroid sample return. Envisioned as the follow-on from the near mission, the design was intended to collect three samples from three different asteroids. The initial proposal proposed 1999A010, 2000AG6 and 1998UQ asteroids, but this was later expanded to three of 40 different options. Small Body Grand Tour, an asteroid rendezvous mission. This 1993 concept reviews possible targets for what became near 4,660 Nerus and 2019 Van Albada. Other targets considered for an extended mission included Encke's Comet 2P, 433 Eros, 1036 Ganymede, 4 Vesta, and 4015 Wilson Harrington 1979 VA. Near did visit 433 Eros and Don visited 4 Vesta. Comet Coma Rendezvous Sample Return, a spacecraft designed to rendezvous with a comet, make extended observations within the cometary coma but not land on the comet, gently collect multiple coma samples, and return them to Earth for study. See also Stardust spacecraft. Micro Exo Explorer would use a new form of microelectric propulsion, called microelectrofluidic spray propulsion, to travel to a near-Earth object and gather important data. Mars-focused 
Pascal, a Mars Climate Network mission. MUADEE, Mars Upper Atmosphere Dynamics, Energetics, and Evolution, compared to Maven of the Mars Scout Program. Phobos Surveyor is an orbiter mission concept to the Mars Moon Phobos, which would also deploy special rovers for the Moon's low gravity environment. PCROSS, based on LCROSS but to Mars Moon Phobos. Merlin mission would place a lander on Mars Moon Deimos. Mars Moon's Multiple Landings Mission M4, would conduct multiple landings on Phobos and Deimos. Hall is a Phobos and Deimos sample return mission. Aladdin was a Discovery class Phobos and Deimos sample return mission. It was a finalist in the 1999 Discovery selection, with a planned launch in 2001 and return of the samples by 2006. Sample collection was intended to work by sending projectiles into the moons, then collecting the ejecta by means of a collector spacecraft flyby. Mars Geyser Hopper is a lander that would investigate the springtime carbon dioxide Martian geysers found in regions around the south pole of Mars. MAGIC Mars Geoscience Imaging at Centimeter Scale is an orbiter that would provide images of the Martian surface at 5 to 10 cm, pixel, permitting resolution of features as small as 20 to 40 cm. Red Dragon, a Mars lander and sample return. Topic: <laughs> Lunar focused. Lunar sample return from the South Pole Aitken Basin. No geologic model adequately accounts for all of the characteristics of the area and disagreements are fundamental. EXOMON, in situ investigation on Earth's moon. PSOLHO, would use the moon as an occulter to look for exoplanets. LUNET, a lunar lander. Twin lunar lander, a geophysics mission to the moon. Venus focused. Venus Multiprobe, proposed for a 1999 launch, would have dropped 16 atmospheric probes into Venus, and fall slowly to the surface, making pressure and temperature measurements. Vesper was a concept for a Venus orbiter focused on studying that planet's atmosphere. It was one of three concepts to receive funds for further study in the 2006 Discovery selection. Osiris and Grail were the other two, and eventually Grail was chosen and went on to be launched. V Star Venus Sample Targeting, Attainment and Return is a Venus Atmosphere Sample Return Mission. While returning samples from the surface of Venus has noted difficulties, a Discovery class sample return from the upper atmosphere is being proposed. Something along the lines of Stardust mission but using a free return trajectory, it would not go into Venusian orbit. Veva Venus Exploration of Volcanoes and Atmosphere is an in-atmosphere probe for Venus. The centerpiece is a seven-day balloon flight through the atmosphere accompanied by various tiny probes dropped deeper into the planet's thick gases. Venus Pathfinder, a long-duration Venus lander. Raven, a Venus orbiter radar mapping mission. Valor, a Venus mission to study its atmosphere with a balloon. Twin balloons would circumnavigate the planet over eight Earth days. Venus Aircraft, a robotic atmospheric flight on Venus's atmosphere using a long-duration solar-powered aircraft system. It would carry 1.5 kg of scientific payload and it must contend with violent wind, heat and a corrosive atmosphere. Topic. Selection process Topic. Discovery 1 and 2 The first two discovery missions were near-Earth asteroid Rendezvous near, later called Shoemaker near, and Mars Pathfinder. These initial missions did not follow the same selection process that started once the program was underway. Mars Pathfinder was salvaged from the idea for a technology and EDL demonstrator from the Mars Environmental Survey Program. Also, one of the goals of Pathfinder was to support the Mars Surveyor Program. Later missions would be selected by a more sequential process involving announcements of opportunity. Near again has a slightly different background. When Discovery was established in 1990, soon after a working group for the program recommended that the first mission should be to a near Earth asteroid. A series of proposals limited to missions to a near Earth asteroid missions was reviewed in 1991. What would be the near spacecraft mission was formally selected in December 1993, after which a two-year development period would follow prior to launch. 
Near was launched on February 15, 1996, and arrived to orbit asteroid Eros on February 14, 2000. Mars Pathfinder launched on December 4, 1996, and would land on the planet Mars on July 4, 1997, bringing along with it the first NASA Mars rover. Topic. Discovery 3 and 4 In August 1994, NASA made an announcement of opportunity for the next proposed Discovery missions. There were 28 proposals submitted to NASA in October 1994. In February 1995, Lunar Prospector, a lunar orbiter mission, was selected for launch. Three other missions were left to undergo a further selection later in 1995 for the fourth Discovery mission, Stardust, Zeus Uri, and Venus Multiprobe. Stardust, a comet sample return mission, was selected in November 1995 over the two other finalists. Topic. Discovery 5 and 6 In October 1997, NASA selected Genesis and Contour as the next Discovery missions. Out of 34 proposals that were submitted in December 1996, the five finalists were Aladdin Mars Moon Sample Return, Comet Nucleus Tour Contour, Genesis Solar Wind Sample Return, Mercury Surface Space Environment Geochemistry and Ranging Mission Messenger, Venus Environmental Satellite VESAT. Topic. Discovery 7 and 8 In July 1999, NASA selected MESSENGER and DEEP IMPACT as the next Discovery program missions. MESSENGER was the first Mercury orbiter and mission to that planet since Mariner 10, and the DEEP IMPACT sent a projectile into the comet Temple 1. Both missions targeted a launch in late 2004 and the cost was constrained at about $300 million USD each. In 1998 five finalists had been selected to receive $375,000 USD to further mature their design concept. The five proposals were selected out of perhaps 30 with the goal of achieving the best science. Those missions were Aladdin Deep Impact Messenger Inside Jupiter Vesperolidin and Messenger were also finalists in the 1997 selection. Topic. Discovery 9 and 10 26 proposals were submitted to the 2000 Discovery solicitation, with budget initially targeted at US$300 million. Three candidates were shortlisted in January 2001 for a Phase A design study, Don, Kepler, and Inside Jupiter. Inside Jupiter was similar to a later New Frontiers mission called Juno, Dawn was a mission to asteroids Vesta and Ceres, and Kepler was a space telescope mission aimed to discover extrasolar planets. The three finalists received $450,000 USD to further mature the mission proposal. In December 2001, Kepler and Dawn were selected for flight by NASA. At this time only 80 exoplanets had been detected, and that was part of the mission of Kepler, to look for more exoplanets, especially Earth-sized. Both Kepler and Dawn were initially projected for launch in 2006. The Discovery program fell on hard times after this, with several mission experiencing cost overruns, and the Contour mission experiencing an engine failure in orbit. Although both Dawn and Kepler would become widely praised success stories, they missed their somewhat ambitious 2006 launch target, launching in 2007 and 2009 respectively. Kepler would go on to receive emission extensions, and Dawn likewise successfully orbited both Vesta and Ceres. Nevertheless, the next selection would take longer than previous as the program selection of new missions slowed down. As the successes of the new missions enhanced the image of the Discovery program, the difficulties began to fade from the limelight. Also, the number of active missions in development or active began to increase as the program ramped up. Topic. Discovery 11 The announcement of opportunity for this Discovery mission was released in April 2006. There were three finalists for this discovery selection including Grail, the eventual winner, Osiris, and Vesper. Osiris was very similar to the later Osiris-Rex mission, an asteroid sample return mission to 101,955 Bennu, and Vesper, a Venus orbiter mission. 
A previous proposal of Vesper had also been a finalist in the 1998 round of selection. The three finalists were announced in October 2006 and awarded US$1.2 million to further develop their proposals for the final round. In November 2007, NASA selected the GRAIL mission as the next discovery mission, with a goal of mapping lunar gravity and a 2011 launch. There were 23 other proposals that were also under consideration. The mission had budget of $375 million USD, then year dollars, which included construction and also the launch. Topic. Discovery 12 This was an especially tough selection, coming on the heels of a successful Mars rover landing and the termination of the Mars Scout program parent program of Phoenix and Maven, it meant that the proposals to the very popular Red Planet competed with more obscure destinations. On the other hand, Titan had just been landed on by Huygens and Comets were getting the full treatment by the flagship class ESA Rosetta mission. 28 proposals were received in 2010, according to the BBC, three were for the Moon, four for Mars, seven for Venus, one Jupiter, one to a Jupiter Trojan, two to Saturn, seven to asteroids, and three to comets. Out of the 28, three finalists received $3 million in May 2011 to develop a detailed concept study. InSight, a Mars lander. Titan Mare Explorer time spacecraft for landing in, and floating on, a large methane-ethane sea on Saturn's moon Titan. A Titan moon lake lander was previously considered Titan-Saturn system mission and other concepts, but have lost out to other missions which have themselves been cancelled. Comet Hopper Chopper study cometary evolution by landing on a comet multiple times and observing its changes as it interacts with the Sun in August 2012. InSight was selected for development and launch. The mission launched successfully in May 2018 and is expected to reach Mars in November 2018. Topic. Discovery 13 and 14 In February 2014, NASA released a discovery program draft announcement of opportunity for launch readiness date of December 31, 2021. On 30 September 2015, NASA selected five mission concepts as finalists, each received $3 million for one year of further study and concept refinement. Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry, and Imaging da Vinci. Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, Insar Topography and Spectroscopy Veritas. Near Earth Object Camera Neocam. Lucy Psyche in January 4, 2017, Lucy and Psyche were selected for the 13th and 14th Discovery missions, respectively. Lucy will fly by five Jupiter Trojans, asteroids which share Jupiter's orbit around the Sun, orbiting either ahead of or behind the planet. Psyche will explore the origin of planetary cores by orbiting and studying the metallic asteroid 16 Psyche. Topic. Summary. Discovery has visited asteroids, comets, Mars, Mercury, and the Moon. There were two sample return missions, one for comet dust, another for solar wind, and that also detected interstellar dust, and one observatory focused on finding exoplanets. Topic. Artists' impressions Topic. Mission insignias This section includes an image of the Discovery Mission's patches or logos, as well as the launch year. Topic. Launches This section includes an image of the Discovery Mission's rockets, as well as the launch year. Topic. References Topic. External links Official NASA website for Discovery Program Official NASA website for Discovery and New Frontiers Programs Office